So now we're going to talk about example question number two from the Salesforce Administrator Certification Exam Guide. And this question reads that Universal Containers needs to track the manufacturer and model for specific car companies. How can the system administrator ensure that the selected manufacturer provides the values available for the model. So on the actual exam, it'll always tell you how many answers to select. And likewise, in this sample question number two, they tell you that there's one correct answer. So the options are either A, create the manufacturer field as a dependent pick list and the model as a controlling pick list. B would be to create a lookup field from the manufacturer object to the model object. C would be to create the manufacturer field as a controlling pick list and the model as a dependent pick list. And then finally, D is create a multi-select pick list field that includes both manufacturers and models. And so as always, you want to approach these questions through the process of elimination and figure out which of these are obviously wrong. And that'll help make your job easier as a test taker in order to know which ones are potentially correct. So let's look at this then. And we see the first option is to create dependent and controlling pick list values. And then we also notice that C deals with that as well. Whereas B and D have more to do with object oriented approaches. And so B, for example, has a to create a lookup field from the manufacturer object to the model object. So the idea here is you'd introduce two custom objects and you have a lookup from one to the other. And then finally, you could create a multi-select pick list field that includes both manufacturers and models. That really doesn't make sense to me how you would do that. I mean, you could do a multi-select pick list. You could have like all the manufacturers and models of all autos, but that would be a really unwieldy multi-select pick list and there would be no way to control like if I were to select Ford for example as the manufacturer there's no way to really control the user selecting only Ford specific models I guess we could do a validation rule but that is not part of this answer so D is really kind of out of the scope of this question it was not a good approach and then as well with B, you can create a lookup field from the manufacturer object to the model object if you did two separate objects for this. But then you would need some sort of, I guess, lookup filter to filter out uh, models that only belong to this manufacturer. It may require maybe even some apex in order to limit those selections. So this is not really a good option either. Really what we want to do in controlling what selections are available so that you can ensure that the selected manufacturer provides the values available for the model. That's where you're getting into dependent pick lists and controlling pick lists. So the options are either A or C and they really invert these. The options are to make manufacturer field as the dependent pick list and the model as the controlling field or make manufacturer the controlling field and the model as the dependent field. So we're wanting to have the selection be the manufacturer and then based on that selection, it provides the different models. So we want manufacturer to be the controlling field or the controlling pick list field and the model is the dependent field. So the answer is C, create the manufacturer field as a controlling pick list and the model as a dependent pick list.